Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create and film a slow-mo Instagram reel. And I'm actually going to show you how to do this reel right here. So I'll put the finished product of exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. But basically there's this trend where you're basically like walking or moving in slow motion in a bunch of different outfits or things that you're showing or something along those lines. And so I really wanted to put my own spin on it and to use it as a way to say, you know, actual outfits that I wear while working from home. Home. I think it'll be really fun, like a little bit funny, but also relatable and just really fun to create. So the first thing that I need to do um, is I want to film the intro part first of me sitting at my desk. I have in mind, like I would love for me to be sitting at my desk as if I'm working and then stand up and then go into the actual reel. So I think I'm going to actually move you guys so I can show you like where all this is going to happen. Okay, so I have the room pretty much mapped out how I want to do this. So I am going to be starting off like sitting in this chair like this <laughs> and then standing up and doing something and landing right about here. And so because I'm not doing this in the Instagram Reels app, um, I'm going to use a piece of tape to put on the floor about where I want to stand for each of these video clips just because um, I know that when I am filming each one, it's going to be my camera app and I can't necessarily like line myself up with where I was before exactly. And so this will help me to know about where I was standing for the videos so that I can be in about the same spot when I'm doing each outfit. So just clear like scotch tape um, put on the floor. Nobody's going to ever notice that I did that. And so the next thing that I want to do, so I have my phone right here on a smartphone tripod and this is actually very very helpful so it's literally just a smart or a tripod for your smartphone i will put a link down below if you want to check it out it was super cheap on amazon it makes it way easier to film reels like this but for this because it's a wider angle reel where i want my full body it's going to be like right below this camera so you're not necessarily going to be able to see it but i'm going to start screen recording so that you guys can see what's going on on the screen and what i am filming so the first part that we want to film. Let me get this centered exactly where I want it. So if I'm standing on my scotch tape here, it needs to move over a little bit. So let's move this. And let's see. Okay, I almost feel like that was a little too much now. So back this way, this way. Cool, okay. I think that's pretty good. So basically what I want to do now is I'm going to film the first part of it, which is me sitting at my desk and then standing up. So it's like the part of the reel. If you click the link below, you can listen to the audio. I'm not going to put the audio in this YouTube video just because I don't want to get copyrighted on this YouTube video. But if you click the link and you watch the reel that I am creating right now, you'll see that the beginning part is almost like music playing this guy like speaking really, really, really fast. And then it goes into a boom, boom, boo -do -do -do, boom, boom. <laughs> That's the best I can, I'm not a singer at all, but. Um, so basically I wanna film that first to like four to five seconds where I'm sitting at the desk and then standing up. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect because I don't have the music to like do it along to because I'm filming this outside the app, but we're gonna do the best that we can. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit film on my phone. Okay, so that should be good. And I'm gonna go ahead and start off sitting in my chair as if I am working at home. It's kind of the vibe I'm going for here. So I'm gonna cross my legs. I'm going to act like I'm working right here. And give myself a few seconds sitting here. And then I'm gonna get up and like do something and sit, like end up where that scotch tape is because then I'll do the other video clip standing where that scotch tape is. Okay. And I'm just trying to give myself as much time as possible for this. Um, so like you saw, I sat at my desk for a good like five, six seconds, even though the, the whole intro is probably that long, just to give myself plenty of buffer time. You'll see later when we piece together the clips and then just stood here for a while too, to give myself plenty of time to do that. So now that we've got that filmed, um, so the next thing is filming each outfit. And so I have a bunch of outfits that are actually already laid out to the side over here that I can actually pull from. Um, like I mentioned, these are like work from home outfits. Some of them are serious, like things that I actually 
well, all of them are serious. All of, I wear all of them working from home, but some of them are meant to be more funny, like a pair of pajamas and a blanket wrapped around me with my mug or something like that. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and change into the first outfit and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this is the first outfit that I wanted to do this in. Um, so now on the phone, we're gonna switch this over. And you're probably not gonna be able to see me very well, <laughs> but we're gonna switch this over to slow-mo. If you look on the camera, like at the bottom, uh, you just on the left hand side of where it says video I'm just gonna switch that over to slow-mo so now when I hit record it's gonna record the entire video in slow-mo which is what we want so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that record button and I'm gonna go stand back where my tape was so that I'm about in the same place and so basically for each outfit the idea behind this one is just to be like basically posing in each outfit which is kind of funny but um yeah, or you can also do, I know some people use the trend where they will like walk. So this one you would need more room for. I don't have really a whole lot of room to be like walking necessarily. So I'm not necessarily going to do that. Um, but the, it would be the same idea. You would back up and you would just walk. So you could use the slow-mo pieces from each place when you are walking. And you really don't need a lot. Like you need like 0.2 seconds of yourself because the slow-mo will slow it down. So, for this first one, I have to decide what I want to do. Um, I know I started off like this, so I might do like a little cute little turn or something. So, let's go ahead and do that. Start off like this, and... Let's see where I'm at. And I'm just doing a few different options, so I'm going to go back to edit. Um, if I like one option over the other, I can do that. Okay, next outfit. So this is the next work from home outfit. It's more of like a PJ lounge outfit. So we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go ahead and hit record slow-mo on my phone. I'm going to be in this about same spot. And I think for this one, just to be funny, like I'll probably just sit on my mug. Um, so we'll see. Let me... Go like this, maybe. <laughs> okay, I just did a few options there that I can pull from. So let me change into my next outfit now. All right, here's the next option. This one's probably one of the most realistic options that I actually wear. I actually wear all of these, but this one, biker shorts and a good t-shirt, like, I just wear that a lot, especially in the summer. So, um, okay, we're going to hit record for slow-mo, and we're just keeping the phone in the exact same spot so that that doesn't change, the background doesn't change, and we're going to have to figure out something to do for this one. So I'll probably do another hair flip or, like, turn or something. Um, I'll just do a bunch of different things, and we'll see. This one, maybe I'll try like actually walking. Let's see. Okay, cool. So that's good for this one. Let me change next outfit. All right, outfit number four, outfit, outfit number four. So I'm gonna hit the record on here and do a little posy posing. <laughs> Okay, that's probably good. And last outfit. This one's actually a funny one, so it'll be good. Gotta put my hair in a bun again for this one. Doesn't even have to be good. Actually, it's probably better if it's not good. So it's really messy. And then, so the one where I wrap the blanket around me, and I'm probably gonna walk off the screen with it. Wow, that bun looks actually really bad. So, we'll just go with it. Okay, so I think this one's going to be easy because I'm just going to walk off the screen with the blanket wrapped around me. So 
like this. I'll start about here. <laughs> okay, we'll see one more time just so we have a couple options. Maybe I'll like, ooh, I'm going to change my actual outfit and then I'm just going to do something different with this. So hold on. Okay. So I think I'm going to actually do is like, like something like this, but, oh, it's still filming. Okay. I need to restart it. We're going to do a funny, like, like wrapping like this. So let me start off this. And I'm going to do one where I do that and walk off the screen. Okay. That's probably good. So, I'm going to sit down now, resituate, so that I can show you guys how it would actually edit this together. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have all of those video clips. I actually put them all into one folder within my camera roll. So it's really easy for me to go back and find the clips. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to trim these down to like the little sections that we want to use in the reel. It's just going to make it a lot easier when we go into reels and actually upload these clips and edit them if we know like which part of the posing for each one that we want to use. So I'm going to do it first for the first clip of me sitting at the desk. So like the intro, I'm just going to trim this down a little bit. I'm not going to trim it down all of the way because I want to be able to match it up to the music whenever I go back into reels. So about here is when I started talking to you guys again. So I'm just going to save that video here and we're going to go over for each one and a handy little trick too. You can actually change where the slow-mo is in a video on a slow-mo video. So when I pressed edit there and see the little like how there's a bunch of little up and down white bars and how some of them are spaced out and some are close together. Well, if you tap where the like more spaced out ones connect with the more close together ones. Um, if you tap on that and drag it, you can actually make the slow-mo cover the entire video, which I'm just going to go ahead and do so that no matter where the pose is, if it was like towards the beginning or end, I can still use that part as a slow-mo. So we're going to go through this and I'm just going to see like which like little pose I think I might want to use. Ooh, actually I kind of like this one. That was kind of nice like that. Okay, so that's one option. That was around minute 420. And then I know I did a hair flip at the end. So let's look at that. That's really cute too. Actually, I think I like the 421 the best. So this one right here where I'm like turning, especially because it's like the first outfit. So I'm going to edit it down so that it is that section. So I'm just going to trim this down to about where it starts and ends just to make it easier when I upload it into reels. So something like that. I'm going to save this video and we're going to go ahead and go on to the next one and do a similar thing. I'm going to look through and see, wonder what the best slow-mo part is. Let's see. I don't know if I liked that. So I want more movement. So maybe something like this. Oh, that was funny at the end. I kind of liked that. Or this, where I'm bringing up my coffee cup. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, so let's extend this. For some reason with this one, when I press edit, it's not letting me look at more than like 35 seconds at a time here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull up InShot and add the video in here so I can trim it with an InShot. Normally when you press edit on your iPhone, you should be able to look at the whole video and trim it right there. But for some reason, I'm not really sure why it's not letting me do that. So if you have the same problem, here's the workaround that I am going to go for. So we're gonna select that video that we want to trim. It's gonna take a hot second for it to import. So I'm just gonna wait here a second. Okay, so now that it's pulled up an InShot, I'm gonna navigate to that part that I liked and want to use. It was the one where I had the mug up and it was this one right here where I am pulling it up like this. Perfect. I'm just going to delete what's before and after that and then save that video. All right, let's do the next one now. So I'm going to navigate back to that folder that has all of the video clips within it. 
we're gonna do the next one, which was the biker shorts and t-shirt one. And I'm gonna let this import. All right, so let's look on this one and see which part of the slow-mo I want to use. Um, oh, that's kinda cute, messing with my hair. Oh, that's cute too, though, like the twirl. Um, let's see. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. That's kind of cute too though. I liked this the most though, this little section here. So I'm gonna split it, delete the clip before, go to the end of this, split it, delete what's after. Okay, and we're gonna save that. Now let's go ahead, I'm gonna discard this and do the next video. So let's go to that folder again and we're gonna do the green shorts and let that import. Now let's find which part of this one we want to use. So, oh, I think, yeah, I like that little jump. That was cute. I think I like the first jump the best. That was kind of cute too, though, the little hair flip. Oh, I don't know which one I like. That's really cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. So let's delete what comes after and start from the beginning like this, delete, and then we're gonna save this section. All right, now let's go back, discard this, don't really need it again. Let's add in the last video clip. Scroll all the way down to that folder I made with the blanket. <laughs> it's probably my favorite part of this entire thing. So just gotta let that video import first. All righty, so let's figure out which part. I know we tried a few different things. Oh, that's kind of funny. What do we like? Do we like me just spinning the cape or do we like me walking off? Okay, I don't think I like that one as much as the one before it if I do this one. Okay, but I kind of liked just the cape spinning like with this. Like look how funny that is. Yeah, I like that. I think that's funny. Okay, so let's um, split it. Delete what's before and then get to the end and delete. I might make this a little longer just in case I need more. I don't think I'll need more, but just in case. Okay, now we're gonna save that. And then once all these are saved, they will be the last videos in the camera roll. So we're gonna go ahead and add those to the folder and like organize them a little bit just to make it easier to find when we go to actually create the reel. So let me go back to my photos. I'm just gonna delete the original videos off of here that we just finished like editing the different parts of. Let me select the last five because of the last five videos we saved from InShot. Add to the album, slow-mo reel, that's what we're working on. Okay, now I'm gonna jump over to Instagram and I'm in my saved audio right here and I saved the audio for this at the very top which makes it nice and easy if you just tap on it. You can also see videos that were created with that audio. So we're gonna go ahead and tap use audio at the bottom. And now we're gonna add all of our different video clips to this. To add video clips, we're just gonna swipe up on the screen. I'm gonna tap where it says camera roll. I'm gonna navigate to that folder for the slow-mo reel. See if I can find it. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna do the intro clip first. I'm just gonna tap to add it. And I'm gonna turn on my music so that I can time it with the different parts of the music. Um, but obviously I don't want YouTube to copyright me for this. So I'm just gonna do that real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we've got that uploaded here, I'm gonna go ahead and do each video clip and ma like match it up with every time it has a big like boom in the song is when I want each video clip to start. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm actually realizing that I think I only needed four outfits. So I'm just gonna get rid of the one with me in the green shorts just because I think the blanket part is just so good. So I wanna make sure I include that. And that happens sometimes. I think it's better to overfilm than underfilm. So I'm kinda glad that I had an extra. Okay, so now that this is edited together, I'm just gonna show you the final product. Again, if you wanna see it on Instagram, I'll put a link below so you can hear it with the audio and what it sounds like. So basically the only other thing to do now is to add the text. And so I'm gonna do something along the lines of like, outfits I actually wear working from home. And I'm just gonna make sure that it's somewhere that's not gonna block um, any of the outfits. So I kind of like that. Mm, I'm gonna go back to the other text.
Okay, sweet. Um, so once you are done, um, obviously you can go through all the steps of actually sharing your reel. I won't go too in depth here. If you want to watch my full Instagram reels tutorial, if you haven't already, it goes in depth on how to use all the different like text options, editing options, um, and then actually posting in the different settings for that. So I'll put it right here and the link will be down below if you want to check that out. But if this video is helpful for you, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Seriously, it would mean so much to me and every single one of you that have done that, like, Thank you, you are amazing. I am so <laughs> sinking excited that you are here and sticking around. And I hope this video was super helpful for you. If you have any other questions about any other sorts of reels you want me to demonstrate and show you how to create, let me know. I am planning to do a part three to Instagram Reels Transitions tutorial because you guys have loved the first two so much. So I will be doing that soon. I have a few ideas, but if there's any other last minute ideas you want me to include in that, be sure to let me know. I will be filming that very soon and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.